Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well today we've got another little free layout for you from Divi Supreme Modules. You're going to need to have Divi Supreme Modules Pro to be able to use this. But it's a sort of priceless layout and they've got a couple of nice little layouts right here. And of course you can import and use these on any sites you want to. And I'll show you how to do that today. So first we want to go down to the download page from Divi Supreme and I'll put this URL below the video. Once you go there you can scroll down and have a video preview of it. About halfway down the page you're going to find a little download layout button. Just click that. I'm using Google Chrome today so mine downloads to my browser. If you're using a different browser use it is going to download to your default download location. Quite often that's documents and downloads. Once downloaded, it downloads it as a zip file. You need to unzip it. And there it is, there's the JSON file that we can import into our Divi theme. To import that file, let's go to our layouts page, which is dashboard down to Divi and down to Divi library. That's the page I've got open here. Once on the Divi library page, we can hit the import and export button right here. I want to import it. I'm simply going to drag this JSON file over and plop it in right there. Or you can hit the choose file button and browse to it if you prefer. Once there, I'm going to hit the import Divi builder layouts. There we go, and we've now imported that layout. There it is, Priceless Module Demo. Okay, well let's create a new page. I'm going to go up to New, to Page. Give it whatever name you want to. Of course we want to use the Divi Builder. I'm going to go down to browse, choose pre-made layout, browse layouts. Then I want to go to my saved layouts. And there it is, Divi Supreme Priceless Module Demo. And here we have our demo nicely loaded. And of course, you don't want to use their uh, price list, you want to put your own in. And everything here is editable. Uh, for instance, let's go into this nice horizontal picture price list. If you're going to replace their images, which I'm sure you're going to want to do, and you want to keep a similar format, just have a look at the height of their images if you want it to be a similar height and use similar images if you want to keep it the same dimensions. So I'm going to hit that. Hit the little cog, there's the image. And if we look at that image, which is the drinks right there, it's 160 high by 200 wide. Width doesn't matter too much, but the height, if you want to keep them all the same, you want to have something similar, or as long as your yours are all the same height, they'll look consistent. Okay, so let's replace it. I think I've got one here that's 160. Yep, there it is, 160. So now I've got my little wine pictures in there. And of course you'll want to change the title again just click on the cog change the title to whatever you want I guess we better capitalize it they have on the others wines then of course you've got to populate the price list itself just go into the price list cog and go into the appropriate one text Let's say uh, Merlot. And let's say $7, but let's say per glass. And 
probably don't want a semicolon in there or whatever it is you want to put so that's how to style one of those vertical ones with the image let's just save that next one we've got a sort of horizontal one here with a rounded image and again you can change that rounded image and all this if you want to just simply click on the cog Go to the one you want to change and with rounded images the only thing you want to remember is that you want to start off with a square image to make a round image because they've got a rounded class going on there but that's only going to work on a square image so let's choose a square image i've got one here i think it's square yeah four by four and there we go and of course you can change the text and everything like that the same way. And obviously change the content down there. And we've got a price over there and here's the price up, up top here. Now if we save this, you can change the font for all these by going back into the main element going to design and you've got title text and price text right here just go in there you can change the font style and the, the weight and obviously the size there but I'm pretty happy for that to stay as it is that's great and moving on down to our next one which again is an inline one with a straight image that image doesn't matter so much it looks like a, a an oblong type image so if we go in there let's go into our first one look at the image we can just swap that out with another regular sort of image same sort of shape I don't even know what that is and of course change it to whatever it is that you want it to say and again you can change the styles and everything in the main element there the only other thing is might want to change the highlight color we've got two and two here the highlight color of our price background there okay and to do that let's go back into the main one so we'll save our changes here and again in the main one let's hit the design tab and here's our price text and at the moment the price background color is green Let's change it to purple everything else is purple on my site and there you have it like I say let's just save that we've got two separate ones here and if you wanted to you could copy the styles from this one and paste them into this one there we go do that easily and of course once you've got these saved to your liking you can save them to your library with the little round icon just to the left of the trash can right there save it to the library and insert it on any page you want or export it and use it on another Divi Supreme website so there's a new Divi Supreme price list demo they got some nice little lists all built for you right there nice little feature so I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.